All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> it's time. We're about to get into this. Uh, it's going to be Morse code versus Dawson. Dawson was able to close out that uh, Puff ditto in a game five set. So we're jumping in here. It's going to be Samus versus Puff, Dawson versus Morse code. What are you What are you looking for here, Speedy? I'm looking for to see how um, these guys play the neutral. I mm -hmm. guess that's a lot of this matchup, and punishes do not you you do not get a lot of percent. It'll be interesting to see how um, Morse code uses the missiles to his advantage, mm -hmm. and uh, how he tries to control a center and stage uh, with those. I think that's a lot of the way that Samus likes to uh, be able to have somewhat of some mm -hmm. control against a lot of like. Because Puff has a lot of really great uh, options and like hurt boxes, so edging them out is really hard. Mm -hmm. but... Ooh. Starting starting off strong here is Dawson catching that drill into up smash, uh, a strong way to open up the set and and to get those kills at high percents. Um, but Morse code showing some cool stuff too. There uh, gets a an aerial on shield. I think it was a nair, and then bombs out of it to catch uh, the Puff trying to come out of shield. Pretty pretty cool stuff. This is where Samus has some some tough thing. Killing mm -hmm. Puff as Samus is quite hard. The only, mm -hmm. I mean, what you have like charge shot and um, <laughs> what what else? Like F smash maybe. Yeah. But finding no. those is really really tough. <laughs> yeah, Puff, Puff is tricky here for a couple reasons. Number one, it obviously is the aerial mobility. Um, she can sort of be all over the place. Oh. Uh, around Samus, who's already has trouble with with being sort of a slow character. Um, on top of that is is Puff's crouch, right? Um, her ducking is really really hard for Samus to hit. Um, I, I I would like to see a little bit more of use of down smash here um, f from uh, Morse code to try to you know like wave dash forward down smash or, or things like that. Um, even to try to like catch the landing from Puff would be an interesting trick. Oh, the roll up smash from Dawson, looking super strong there. Uh, and taking the four stock to two lead here to open up the set. Yeah, that was a really great kill option, and Julie Puff has like a quite good up smash. I feel like it's definitely mm -hmm. one of her less used kill options, but even against Samus, like killing off the top, uh, you get her that high percent, it's gonna happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of a guarantee. It, it, it's sort of like Samus has a health bar in this matchup because um, at a certain point, if you get above a, a certain high uh, percentage, I think on Battlefield it's like somewhere in like the 130 range, then a, a drill up smash or anything into an up smash is just a free kill. So uh, Samus really, you know, sort of runs out of gas somewhere around there. Um, when otherwise she has such a great... Oh, and there's that bomb. Usage of the bomb on the shield once again. Run up bomb to sort of try to set things up. So far, Dawson playing sort of conservatively around that, just rolling away, and that, that hasn't led too much, but uh, gonna be curious to see what else he's got. Yeah, it's like, even you get shield pressure on Puff, like, her rolls are so good. She's, like, mm -hmm. the only character where her board roll is, like, has, like, more invincibility frames, or it's faster, actually, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, the other thing about this matchup for, for Samus here is that, uh, you get, you know, Samus is usually really great at recovering with the bomb loops and everything, uh, but here Puff can kind of go out and challenge her very early on. So Morse code has to really fight his way back on stage, where usually it's sort of a time to reset and think about things a little bit. Yeah, when it's not like you can really reversal Puff that hard because I mean, <laughs> she has so many options to recover. Oh yeah, Morse code has been getting pretty good usage. Oh my God, he just charge shots. Oh. Yeah, I tried to go for the um, the the grapple right after and was a little bit too low here. Missed the lip of the battlefield and uh, cost him the stock. But a good reversal there. Um, like you were talking about, it's really hard to find those kills on Puff. So uh, being able to throw that one out there and get the charge shot to hit is, uh, is a big win, um, even if it didn't work out this time. Yeah, and Dawson is just controlling center so well. It feels like he has... Uh morse in the corner like so much just really being able to wall him out with the backer you can see his stage presence like bro mm -hmm. the bubble theory is working out hbox was right yeah it's definitely just a, a big control center stage kind of thing um, so far, Dawson has been able to play around the missiles really effectively, and so he doesn't have too much threat uh, when he's playing from center stage. He sort of gets to claim uh, advantage and just play around there. Uh, I, I think what Samus wants to do is to use the missiles to try to sort of push her out.
But oh, there again, you see the the small size of Puff working out quite nicely as uh, Dawson's able to use the F smash and sort of slide under the missile and get the hit at the same time to close out the mm -hmm. first game. Yeah, I mean, this uh, I it was a lot of neutral is like that's what we expected, but I mm -hmm. feel like specifically like the control. Like Dawson, again, we talked about like having stage presence is really um, important because it's sometimes, like as Samus, you have to, you're going to run out of room and mm -hmm. eventually you're just going to have to run into Puff's legs or specifically her, her back air and mm -hmm. you're just going to eat damage and that, like, you, you have to be able to control center with something and if your opponent, like the Puff, is avoiding the missiles then it becomes really hard. Mm -hmm. Not that much that really can eat anything <laughs> yeah i think there's a couple things that are that are happening in the matchup right now that are, are making things really tough for morse code number one is uh the the platforms i feel like when morse code's on a platform dawson feels very comfortable to just sort of oh my god goes for the missile there off the throw uh yeah, well, i wonder so if a charge shot, shot. Would... Yeah, yeah maybe because he di'd in but i'm not sure yeah it definitely looked a little funny but but i don't know um but yeah, possibly. He oh. had to get the turnaround, right? Oh, but the dash attack actually going to kill him. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, actually a large lead for, um, uh, excuse me, for Morse Code. If he can mm -hmm. sustain this, this will be like, I mean, this will be kind of tough for, um, to come back. And wow, just a charge shot neutral? He's out of patience for Morse. Oh. Okay, Dawson able to find the single up smash. It's a good amount of percent and sort of puts Morse code in a bad spot. But Morse has been doing a great job of just resetting to neutral uh, time and time again and avoiding taking too much damage from any one uh, setup, which was kind of a problem for him in the last game. You see he's been upping out a shield. It's like he's done that twice this game. When I don't know if I saw it, he, he done mm -hmm. it like that much. This game has been really working out when he's been trapped in the shield. Which mm -hmm. is a, a really one of like Samus's really great like uh, uniquely good like out of shield options. Like there's mm -hmm. not too many characters that have upbeats that's good. It's like DK Bowser and like the links are alright, but um, Samus's is really good because not only does it put out a really immediate hitbox, it kind of it's also works as a get off me move but vertically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it actually has some invincibility on it for those first couple frames. So if you had an opponent just trying to catch you out of shield, it, it actually doesn't work. Um, and you get the hit first uh, since since the uh, invincibility frames uh, protect you from their uh, hitbox. So um, a big deal there. And, and I like the usage um, here. It, it sort of shuts down a lot of the drill shenanigans that um, Worst Code ha or that Dawson has been looking for and that have been working out pretty well. Uh, so I like the up out of shield, but there's the adaptation from Dawson uh, using a fade back aerial um, and then trying to catch the end of the up as he's falling back down helplessly. Um, we'll see that that time Dawson wasn't able to find the hit, but if he can in the future, that could be a huge payoff very quickly. Yeah, it seems like uh, Morse is becoming a lot more comfortable on mm -hmm. the platforms, I would say, like using a lot more of these USAM missiles and these bomb like little movements he's doing, but mm -hmm. oh Charge shots are hitting. Let's go, Hugo. <laughs> I have to, I have to. <laughs> you can't let Hugo off the hook. Not I ever. Can't, I can't, no, no, no. <laughs> as, as a SoCal player myself, let me tell you, you can't let him off the hook. Okay, okay. I, I, I wasn't sure. I'm not from this region. I didn't know if I had the pass, but thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so Dawson able to get Morse code way off stage here. Ooh, a little bit of a trade, but I think Dawson... Oh, no! He made it back? I was so surprised. Wow, yeah. Actually held the double jump that entire time. So once Dawson really heavily committed out there, uh, Morse code was able to drop really low and then jump in uh, in order to close out that recovery. Really nice stuff there for Morse code to reserve his resources. Dawson able to get him back off stage here, but... Morse code gonna make him wait, and yeah, it goes super low once again, and oh, another recovery! Oh my god, it's up again! This is looking so good for Morse code. Yeah, these adaptations are a lot more like... I, mm -hmm. He just dashed back like four times in a row. <laughs> yeah, and Dawson not really able to find an answer so far. Uh, one thing I will call out is that Morse code continues to try to look for these bombs to punish the shield, and so far Dawson has played against that really effectively, um, just waiting it out and finding like the roll away or the wave dash back or something. Um, I'd love to see Morse code sort of be willing to throw out a grab here or there um, once the shield is up. 
obviously, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Puff can duck under uh, Samus's grab. Um, but if you've got the shield up already, and, and since Dawson is showing that he is going to hold shield, oh, the missile oh, catches missile Dawson. Kills, yeah. And I mean, we're looking like if uh, oh, Dawson could stay alive, but now with the full stock lead and uh, some change for uh, Morse, this is a very strong lead. Yeah, and it, it just looks like Morse code is showing a little bit more patience when he's in the corner before coming in and challenging Dawson. Um, he, he is still coming in quite regularly, and, and it's Oh my god, out. the beggar kills! Wow! That... I did not expect that, especially after that game one. I mean, it was close, but it felt like center stage like was a lot more contested, I would mm -hmm. say. I feel like Dawson was maybe not as... Uh, controlling. I guess you could mm -hmm. say we talk about the the control of the the center, and that's what mm -hmm. it's super important. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. I think I think this is a, a trap that a lot of Falcos also fall into, and and really anyone with a projectile. Uh, your opponent's sitting in center stage. You're in the corner. You want to claim center stage, and so you look for projectiles to try to sort of push your opponent out. Um, and what that can do is it can kind of give your opponent a, a read on your timing. Um, and so then they can use walling options to catch you coming in off of your projectiles. Um, and in game one, Morse code was sort of doing that, right? It was a lot of missile approach, missile approach. And Dawson was able to sort of thread the needle and find the, the walling out options. Um, in the second game, you saw Dawson be more willing to not shoot the missile and instead play a bit more of a timing mix up on the way that he comes in. So he was still like approaching into center and, and contesting it pretty quickly, but because he kept himself uh, sort of actionable, right? He didn't commit to the missile beforehand. Um, he was able to make the the way that he approached center and, and the challenges that he put out uh, much more ambiguous and much harder for Dawson to punish. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And so far, Dawson is taking a strong advantage of this counter pick already. Mm -hmm. No uh, platforms definitely hurts the Samus because there's not as much, I mean, it's just like wide open spaces and mm -hmm. wide open area for you to run into, <laughs> into to run into pups or boxes. <laughs> Yeah, so there, there's a couple things that are going to be really big for this stage. Uh, like you said, um, sort of the the lack of different approach options, right? You can't approach from the side platform or the top platform or the ground. You sort of forced to approach from the ground. Um, sort of limits the or, or yeah limits the options that Samus has to come in on Puff. Um, the other major thing that we're going to have to watch for in this matchup uh, is just how bad things are for Samus um, if she ever ends up above Puff, right? So Morse code has to be super careful about that. In particular, I think up B is basically completely off the table, um, out of shield or, or as a, a defensive tool. Um, and that was something that was working out pretty well for uh, Morse code last game. So like, see here, this sharking, oh, a great wow. call out. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of those. He's been going for a couple of those dares to try and get down, but mm -hmm. um, it's really working there, the height. It, it is one of Samus's like better aerials, but it, it just kind of it's so quick that you really need to time it super well. You definitely mm -hmm. need to read of when your opponent, especially Puck, is going to be coming up at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it ends up being a little bit of a 50-50, right? Is the Puff going to jump up and up air, or is she going to wait and up tilt? And if you guess right, all you get is back to the ground and a little bit of percent, whereas if you guess wrong, you're going to die immediately, right? So it's a pretty bad risk reward for the Samus, but if Morse Code can keep winning this game, uh, you know, picking picking the right RPS each time, uh, then, you know, it can work out for him anyway. Okay. Um... Ooh, that's big. Yeah, no tech, but he's still alive. Ooh, also, yeah. Sometimes no tech is honestly better for uh, in some situations because mm. if you tech a Samus there, you're put out and you could possibly be hit. Whereas this is the slope is FD and like sort of sends you down at like you're not getting hit too far. It, the instant up is actually going to work. So yeah, now um, little tiny microscopic lead for. Uh, I would say a lot of things here. Yeah, absolutely. But look, already tacking on a bunch of percent here, up to basically 30. Uh, that, that's a pretty big win for Morse Code here, even if he ends up losing the stock pretty quickly hereafter. Oh, but no, he's getting more out of this still. Yeah. Uh, Dawson having trouble getting the kill finally finds it there, catching the bomb uh, off stage. So that is going to bring us back to even stocks, but a quick 40 from uh, Morse Code makes him feel a lot more in control of this game. 
Oh, smash. and hey, yeah, the those down smashes. That's gonna. Uh, that's a really strong smash attack. Yeah, and, and especially here at low percent, being able to use the CC down smash. Um, the CC helps you against your opponent's uh, aerial options. Um, and the down smash has like quite a long reach, so uh, you can kind of reach out and catch even um, some of the like less insane of the drift backs, right? Like unless your opponent like really hard commits to the drift back, uh, they they can be at risk of the down smash anyway. Yeah, and I feel like Dawson doesn't usually. Uh, you can see him using it a little bit more here. You mm. see he'll drift like he'll run in with an aerial and then drift like pretty far back. You can see mm -hmm. he's scared of getting hit by, you know, either an up tilt or, like you said, a CC down smash. Because Sam's CC is very, very good. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And, and not only is it tough because uh, Dawson is having to play this sort of more conservative game, but also keep track of what um, options he's using, right? Dawson has wanted to find that these drills throughout the uh, set. Um, they sort of set up into a lot of damage. Uh, but here he's mostly throwing out, um, you know, fares and bears uh, so that he has more room to, to, to drift away afterwards. And it, it sort of neuters his damage output as well. Yeah, not just damage. Drill can lead into up smash, and that mm -hmm. can be like a pretty strong kill option, as we saw. But has it not been able to get it here? Um, Morco doing a quite good job of either shielding when they're coming in, or just being um, in the air. Which if you get drilled in the air, you're not going to be able to lead to an up smash. And yeah, uh, Morse taking the stock first again. Oh, and here we see the the problem with the up B out of shield in on FD. Um, even with Dawson getting hit by it, he's able to SDI out and get the punish on the back end, uh, and then catches the Waveland into him with an up smash and brings it back to even here for last stock. So, uh, even though Morse Code's been playing really well throughout this game, uh, it, it feels like Dawson might be able to close this one out on his counter pick. Yeah, we'll see. I mean. This would be a very strong win for Morse, um, especially like uh, he going back to Battlefield and winning means, I mean, I don't know where you, Morse would really want to go, um, but uh, either way, still having the counter pick advantage of being up to one mm -hmm. uh, would be very strong. Commentator once told me. <laughs> <laughs> I, you always got to say that, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I'm more conscious of it now. Oh, okay. These two players sort of playing on, on a tightrope right now, neither willing to give up too much. Um, Dawson in particular, very scared of getting counterpunched as he goes in. Oh, that back air to catch uh, Morse code trying to drift over him. Dawson sort of in the driver's seat here, up 35%. Um, I, I would say he's not quite in kill percent yet, and Morse code yeah. kind of is, so... This is getting pretty dicey here for Morse. Kind of. Oh, but good trade. Only a minute left. This is not out of the possibility of being a timeout, but I, I, I don't know. It depends how patiently they want to play, but Dawson Ooh. does not does not look like he wants to go to, <sighs> to a timeout. That should be it. Really good stuff there by Dawson. Oh. He's been having trouble. Oh! Never mind. It's never not it. I know it's wrong. Oh, great! No! He rolled. He air dodged facing the wrong way, and that's going to cost him the entire game. Dawson was in so much control, but in the end, the really clever recoveries from Morse Code actually saved him from like three or four massive edge guards and got him a bunch of extra credit throughout the game. Kind of fitting, that's how it also ended there, with Morse Code able to close it out um because he gets a tricky recovery and and pulls sloth off stage or sorry pulls dawson off stage <laughs> pulls me off stage <laughs> uh, we we get oh. to see another seven minute game i i i'm I, i'm so happy <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can see that both of these players, you know, this is not like a, a hard camping kind of game. It, it's yeah. really just that the way that both players are choosing to play. Um, it, it, so Morse Code is, is sort of trying to bait out those big uh, payoff options from Dawson. And Dawson, you know, trying not to give him what he's looking for is choosing to play sort of lower risk, lower reward um, in his uh, move selection. And so that's leading to sort of a, a ticky-tack kind of game where it's it's sort of a one-two hit, not getting these big combos or, or clean kills. And that's what's, you know, creating a lot of the, the duration of the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's just kind of the matchup as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, it doesn't matter who you are. I mean, you kind of have to... I don't, I, 
this matchup just usually goes long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's kind of how it works. I, I don't care if it's um, if it's the swooper playing tech. It's going to be taking a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and just want to call out there uh, a really good edge guard from Dawson. Uh, waiting just that extra little bit of time to avoid getting uh, hit by the tether or the grapple uh, and then he's able to find the fair instead uh, which allows him to sort of open things up and then just get the edge hog uh, on that up B that followed up so uh, Dawson finding himself with a little bit of a lead here off of finally a good edge guard uh, gonna need to see a few more of those uh, if he wants to close out the set one thing is I'm not sure is Dawson is someone who does like to go for like rest a lot of the time, but mm -hmm. I don't know if this matchup if there are any like I like I'm sure up till rest, but I feel like he hasn't really mm -hmm. been going for them or they really haven't been connecting with uh, Yeah. It would be interesting to see if he wants to go for any of them. Oh, and okay, this is something that Dawson's been read for a couple times in this matchup so far. Um he likes to use the um the, the tournament winner to get up on stage uh, when he's like trying to move quickly, uh, trying to catch uh, Morse code, uh, looking to, to catch like a, he's trying to get past Morse code as he's looking for Morse code to uh, punish a, a refresh. Um, but Morse code has often started running forward, stopped, jumped and shot the charge shot. And he's gotten a bunch of uh, mileage off of that. So I, I think Dawson has to be really careful about showing off that uh, tournament winner here going forward. This is a amount of time. I think we're going mm -hmm. to game five. <laughs> yeah, Morse code way, way behind here. And if he can close out this edge guard, Dawson might have basically closed it out. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, three I mean, stocks to one. This is this is a mountain. <laughs> it, it's what we always say. I mean, this, I think Morse code. I think it, I think it, this, this, <laughs> this is going to game five. We're, we're seeing this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Don't roll at me. All Get right. out of here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. You're not eight bucks. All right. Honestly, a, a pretty, a pretty solid answer there from Morse Code uh, to to recognize that just shooting the charge shot is going to take care of business. Um, good, good stuff to him. And it's just going to be on uh, Dawson here to try to close things out. He's got a huge lead, two socks to one. Um, it is just a matter of, you know, sort of tapping it in, crossing the finish line nice and easy. This should be in this bag, should be your game. Um, just don't get it, overzealous with Morse code playing around you're it. You're really just, like, daunting, like, trying to make Dawson lose this game. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, oh, it's just easy. Tapping, man. If you lose this one, you're... You just you should never show your face at the tournament ever again. <laughs> well, well, no, I, I think one of the things I'm trying to call out here is, is I think that this is one of those positions that can be really tricky to deal with. If your opponent starts to get just a little bit of momentum, and especially if they're sort of playing defensive, trying to bait you into getting overzealous, um, I think it can be really hard to close out from a spot like that. But Dawson is able to do so and force a game five, uh, a nice little up smash uh, to read things. Uh, and and close it out. So, where do you think Morse Code's taking us here for Game Five? Is it, it, it any chance he goes for like a Pokemon for the missile resets? No, I was going to say Fod. I was okay. actually going to say Fod, which I like. Uh, I think the platforms could uh, are gonna give like uh, a bit more like trouble with Dawson fading in and mm -hmm. the long. I guess like uh, the the. The box being like, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. like having so much uh, room at the end for recovery for Samus is mm -hmm. really great. Oh my god, what, wait, what was that? That looked really funny. I, I think it was an up B trading with a Nair. Um, not exactly sure how how the hitbox worked to, to send at that angle though. That that was that was funny looking. Ooh, another up B here. And, and you notice as soon as we're not on FD, Morse code much more willing to pull out that option. Um, the, the mix-ups being able to land on a platform or fall through a platform uh, just make it a, a lot safer of an option even if you miss it. So uh, Morse code sort of having that back in his toolbox after not having it for games three and four. Oh, was, oh man. I, Morse code, you could tell how much he really wanted that. Yeah. And that's one where, uh, like, you know, on FD, Morse code doesn't have that option, right? He just dies if he goes for that up I, I mean, I feel like has not really been like punished too hard for not missing these texts, but still, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, oh, and look at that, just again, that those timing mix-ups coming out of the corner. Standing still for just a moment before fighting your way in uh, can make it much harder for your opponent to kind of get a read on your movement options. Dawson trying to eke out a bit more of a lead before giving up this first stock. Uh, has found 30% so far, probably wants a bit more extra credit to feel comfortable, but not going to find it as he gets caught by that charge shot. Gets the grab with the invincibility. Oh, what a clever little air dodge there. Oh. Knowing he has the grapple still available makes it very easy to go for that. And you see, I love these down tilts at the edge that Morse mm -hmm. is doing to uh, catch uh, Dawson coming up. I mean, it doesn't lead to much, but it does like give you a little mm -hmm. bit of damage. It'll be interesting to see why he goes for down tilt instead of a down smash. Yeah, uh, uh, once again, you, you know, using that uh, CC at low percents, making things much more difficult for the puff. Dawson having a hard time sort of getting things opened up without uh, taking a ton of damage in return. Oh, again, these up Bs just really yeah. breaking down what Dawson wants to do. Uh, we saw in game one, Dawson got that roll up smash, and this yeah. game, he's just not finding him. He rolls into the up Bs, and this time catches another charge shot going down a little bit. And that's why FOD is so good. You always have that top platform that's always mm -hmm. going to be there, but even as the side plats go up and down and go all every which way to try and, like, uh, step out or, you know, Dawson's movement, that top platform is always going to be there. It's, it's, it, it, it's Morse code's rock right now. Ooh, and okay, Morse code does not have a grapple here. If Dawson can find one more hit, no! Morse code burns all of his resources, but is able to find the ledge just in time. And Dawson is going to have to find another edge guard. Okay, the fair, not the best DI. I think he was trying to dash back to avoid it. Um, and that's going to cost him the stock, but already 55%. Morse code probably feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, I mean, he's been very good at just like being able to pack these on. He's one dude mm -hmm. a lot in mm -hmm. a row, and that's 91%. Oh, oh. my god, the charge shot too! Up a full stock. Alright. Oh, Dawson on his last leg here of winner's side. Needs to find something big. You mentioned how he's a player who likes to look for the rests, and he hasn't really found a single one this set. If he can close out this stock and put it back on the table, that could make for an interesting game ender. Uh, yeah. But it's up to Morse code to sort of play this out pretty cleanly. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if Dawson, you know, kind of has to stick to what worked almost in that first Battlefield game, just try and, like, try and really control, like, center, mm -hmm. not get, like, pushed around, I guess. Ooh, yeah, and again, these uppies out of shield just ending up on top platform. Uh, Dawson having a really hard time punishing the end of that. Uh, it just takes too long for Puff to jump up there and, and get a hitbox out. Oh, this looks so tough. Morse code playing this out very cleanly, uh, protecting his space, using walling options just right. Uh, Puff gets a couple jabs, but gets caught by the bomb. Oh, no. And yeah, these tilts are just so tilting for Dawson, honestly. Ooh. Oh, almost. We get the shield on the the charge shot, which helps Dawson here. That's like the first time he's avoided one of those. Morse has had crazy accuracy. Oh, drill up smash? Okay, last stock, but Dawson's definitely going to need a bit of a prayer. Like I said, maybe the, mm -hmm. the, the spirit of clutch box has to flow through him. <laughs> oh, but these tilts. I mean, Samus just looks so safe sitting there. And catches another one. It's not going to kill just yet, but oh man, one or two more. Yeah. The oh, missile, missile is going to do it. 